I say I am a Calvinist, I'm not saying I'm a Calvinist to to boast in a man. I'm not saying I'm a Calvinist to boast in some type of system of, of, of doctrinal or theological uh, belief. I say that to identify with a particular um, uh, teaching that is founded and that can be supported first and foremost because scripture teaches. Okay, so I don't I don't want people to get turned off, if you will, because I make the statement that um, I, I'm, I'm a Calvinist. I don't I don't want people to, to to get turned off or or tune me out because I'm now identifying with a particular doctrine. I say that because I know a lot of people hate labels or some people hate labels, but we use labels all the time. We use labels all the time. Can I give you an example? Thank you. How many of you, by a show of hands, believe in small government? I give you some time. Don't worry, I'll wait. I mean, in other words, you don't believe that the government should have that much control over your life and what you and what you do. How, how many of you believe? How many of you believe that parents should, should be able to decide where and how their children should be educated and not the state? How many of you believe that? So in other words, you, you believe that your money, your money should follow the child. Where, where you spend your money, that's where your child should go. And if that's the case, that's, that's good. Not, not where the government is telling your child to go, right? Okay, great. How, how many of you believe in the sanctity of human life that that all life is precious and that life has has value and worth how many of you believe that how many of you believe in the traditional view of marriage and sexuality and of marriage and sexuality you you believe that marriage traditionally speaking is between one man and one woman. You believe that. And you also believe that there are only two genders. You believe that. That is your position. That is your belief. You, you hold to traditional family values when it comes to marriage and sexuality. You know what you, know what you have just, just identified yourself as? A conservative. Is the word conservative in the Bible? Nope. Nope. The word conservative is not in the Bible, but we can see the principles. We can see, we can see our beliefs of these things in scripture if we look for them. So when a person wants to say, well, you're a conservative or you are a Republican or whatever the case might be. Okay. But now let me, let me also add this, this, this other disclaimer being a, this being a conservative does not make you Christian. Okay, being a conservative does not make you Christian, nor does being a Republican make you righteous. Oh, <laughs> oh Lord! And that's the truth. Root. So I want to make sure that that's that that's clear and that's out there in the open, because we always tell people that if you're a Democrat, you know, and if you're a Christian, you, you can't be Democrat. I, I agree. I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. Totally agree with that. Because their positions and their policies do not align with biblical values, right? But just because a person is conservative or Republican doesn't make them a shoe into the kingdom either. You must be born again. You must be born from above. You must repent of your sins, turn from your sins, and turn to Christ. And, and that can only happen if or when God in his mercy and grace chooses for you and I to be saved. So notice what I just did. I just asked you all several questions. And in those questions that I asked you, you all affirmed that you believed in those things. Now, should I, should I or should others look down upon you because you hold to conservative values? No, we should not. We should not. And vice versa. And, and that's my attitude in my heart when it comes to the topic and when it comes to the subject 
of Calvinism and why I am or why I identify with that theological framework. I identify with that theological framework, not because Calvin taught it, but because Christ taught it.